Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Combined mean, did you understand in the last class? If yes, in combined mean, if any value is missing, how do we find out that value? So related to this, we'll see today, okay? Combined mean, related problem, if any value is missing, how do we calculate? Did you remember the formula? X bar 1, 2 is equal to uh, N1 X bar 1 plus N2 X bar 2 by N1 plus N2. Formula remembered? Now we will see the problem. They are not asking us in this problem calculate combined mean. Some value is missing that we have to find out. Means by reading at the problem we must be in a position to understand that we have to calculate combined mean to know the missing value. They do not use the combined mean word, right? So, this is the problem. What is the problem? A class has 50 students. A class is having 50 students with average weight of 45 kgs. Average weight is given. Entire class average weight is given, okay? Out of these, there are 30 girls. Out of 50, 30 girls. It means how many boys are there? 20. 50 minus 30, okay? Average uh, 30 girl, out of these, there are 30 girls with average weight of 42.5. Girls average weight is given. Find average weight of boys. How to find out boys weight? First of all, we will write the values first. Uh, a class has 50 students, means N1 plus N2. Enter class, okay? So, N1 plus N2 is here 50. Solution N1 plus N2 is here 50 total students with average weight of 45 total students average weight that means X bar 1 2 is given to us 45 okay next after that out of this there are 30 girls 30 girls means N1 is 30. N1 is 30. And uh, what about N2? N2 how do you get? Total is 50. Out of 50, 30 are girls. Now boys are 20. If you want, you can write it here. 50 minus 20. N2. Out of these 30 girls means N1 is 30. The average weight of the girls 30, 30 girls average weight is 42.5. It means X bar 1 is given to us 42.5. Find average weight of boys. We have to calculate X bar 2. Average weight of boys. Average weight of girls is this much. Average weight of boys is how much? You know the formula? First we will write the formula here. X bar 1, 2 is equal to N1, X bar 1 plus N2, X bar 2 by N1 plus N2. If we apply the same formula here, it comes X bar 1, 2 is already given to us. Where it is? X bar 1 to 45. N1 is here 30. X bar 1 is given 42.5. Plus N2, N2 is 20 into X bar 2 we do not know. So, into X bar 2. So, this we are going to calculate by N1 plus N2. N1 plus N2 is here, total number of students 50. Now, calculations be careful. If we cross multiply this, 45 into 50 comes to 2250. 2250 is, is equal to this is 30 into 42.5. It is 127 or 1275. 1275 plus 20x bar 2. 20 into x bar 2 means 20x bar 2. So we will take it on the left side this one because we need we need to find out x bar 2, right? So, we will write like this 1275 
plus 20 x bar 2 is equal to 2250. Now 1275 we can take it to the right side okay. 20 x bar 2 is equal to 2250 minus 1275. So, I will continue here. So, if we minus 1275 minus 2250, the difference is 975. So, next step is here 20 x bar 2 is equal to 975. How do you got 975? Difference of these two, okay. Now, x bar 2 is this one. 20 you can just take it on that side, right. So, x bar 2 is equal to 975 divided by 20, okay, 975 divided by 20, it comes to 48.75. So, x bar 2 average of girls is 42.5, average of boys to x bar 2 is equal to 42.75, we found it. Now, in this problem, uh, please observe carefully, never, they never asked about combined mean, the word combined mean is, combined mean is not there. If you read it carefully, a class of 50 students with average weight of 45 kgs, total class weight is 45. Now, they are saying out of these, there are 30 girls. 30 girls with average weight of 42 point, 30 girls means n1, their average weight is x bar 1, find out the average weight of boys, x2, x bar 2 we have to find out, when uh, n1 is 30 out of 50, n2 is 20 as we have done and x bar 2 we have to find out, combined mean is given, average weight is given 45, x bar 1, 2, where it is, x bar, uh, x bar 1, 2, it is given n1 plus n2 we know, n1 also we know, n2 we just came to know that 50 minus 30 is 20 and uh, average weight of girls is given here, average uh, weight of girls is given and average weight of boys we found like this, am I clear, no need to take, if you want you can take screenshot this is the problem, if you understand this problem, now here is a homework problem for you, so this is uh, BCom Delhi University problem I have taken same type of problem, the mean of marks in max of 100 students of a class was 72, total students are 100, n1 plus n2 is 100 and uh, ten, uh, the students have, uh, mean combined mean is 72, the mean marks of boys was 75, boys are 75 means girls are 25, 100 minus 75, while their number was 70, okay, uh, so the mean marks of boys was 75 while their number was 70, number 70, x bar 1 is 75, okay. So, their number is 70 means girls is 100 minus 70, 30. Find out the mean marks of the girls in the class, same like this problem, clear? Can you work out? The answer is this, x bar 2 is 65. If you are getting the same answer, please write it in the comment box. I will be waiting for your answers. Stay connected, check out our channel, use it, everything is free of cost. Don't forget to share this video. Good luck.